What camera will perform the best in low light challenging conditions? Is it the GoPro Max in hero mode using the Max Superview lens, or is it the new GoPro Hero 11 Black using Hyperview? Let's find out. It's been over a year and a half since I compared the GoPro Max to one of the Hero cameras. And I haven't been that excited to do this comparison in a very long time because the last time I did it was with the GoPro 9 using the MaxMod lens. I found the MaxMod lens to be a little underwhelming and it wasn't as stable or as crisp in those low light conditions as the Max. There's something about the stabilization in this camera that is just incredible. And then the GoPro Hero 10 came out and I played around with that, put the Max lens on it and did some more and I found it not much better than the 9, so I wasn't excited enough to make a video. But the Hero 11 Black just came out. This camera is really cool and I've had a lot of fun with it in the last couple weeks here. And I figured now is the proper time to finally do a test between the GoPro Max using the Max Super V lens that I love to do in Hero mode with just the one lens open and then compare it against the Hyperview settings because the new Hyperview angle is really sick. What it does is takes that tall frame and squeezes it down into a 16 by nine and then spreads out the field of view a little bit. This also tends to help the stabilization. I would like to make this comparison as fair as possible. That might be a bit challenging given that these are two very different cameras, but in order to achieve that, I'm gonna use the exact same settings in both cameras. The biggest difference will be the resolution in the Max versus in the Hero 11 Black because the Hero 11 gives you 5.3K footage when you're using Hyperview, whereas this can only give me 1440 and it's a taller aspect ratio. So by the time I crop it down, I'm really only getting 1080p footage. And then I'll have to upscale that footage into a 5K timeline to match this footage. And that might affect the quality a little bit. The biggest thing I'm after though, is, is the stabilization of the Hero 11 Black just as good as the stabilization of the GoPro Max using the Max Superview settings in Hero Mode. Let's dive into the settings here. I'm gonna reference the GoPro 11 because it has all the same settings as the Max and more. So both cameras will be shooting in 24 frames per second. I love that low frame rate, that cinematic look and that motion blur on the sides of the trails. This might look a little different between the cameras because if one camera favors a higher shutter speed to another, the one with the higher shutter speed will actually have a little less motion blur. I'm using the Hyperview lens on the 11 and the Max Superview lens on the Max and the hyper smooth is turned on for both. There is auto boost on the 11, which will crop in the footage a little more when things get really rough. And I'm curious to know if that's gonna be activated today in the slower light and if that really affects the field of view. I'm pretty curious because I've never actually had auto boost on before. The Pro Tune settings are where you can really dial things in and get a bit more fine tuned. I'm gonna turn on the 10-bit color with the 11. That's a pretty cool new feature. It might give us a little more vibrant colors than we get from the Max. The bit rate will be high in both cameras. We want to pull out as high of quality footage as possible out of this. I'm going to keep auto shutter settings on both. I'm going to dial down the EV comp to minus 0.5 because that can help with stabilization and lower light conditions. White balance will be auto for each. Minimum ISO 100, max ISO 1600. I'm going to go with medium sharpness. I find the low sharpness to be kind of tough to work with unless you're shooting in a flat color profile and getting really intense with the color grading. So both cameras will have medium sharpness. We will be going with that vibrant GoPro color. And that is it. As you can see, all the color settings are in auto and the shutter because I wanna keep this as simplified as possible. Most of you are probably not gonna get really crazy with the color grading on your footage. So I'm gonna keep you guys in mind when I'm doing this comparison. And for both, I'm just gonna turn off the raw audio and I'm gonna make the wind noise automatic. That's it for settings. Here's my plan to compare this footage. I will be taking two laps down the exact same trail. I'll do the first lap with the Max, the second lap with the Hero 11, and then I can compare the footage and decide what's my favorite. I will be judging it over a few things. So the clarity of the footage, how stable it is is the biggest thing, how the colors look, how the audio is, how it is overall. And then I'll ask you for your opinion at the very end. I'd love to hear what you think is the best camera. Okay, enough talking now. Let's go ride some bikes. It's freezing today. There's ice on the ground, so a few of the wood features on this trail might be a little slick. We're riding a trail that parallels Sharknado today. Okay, here we go. First slap on the mats.
Фу. Nice, fun, short lap. That's a very quick lap, under two minutes, but I'm really feeling it in my lungs today because it's so cold out here. This camera is also pretty good for vlogging. This is the max. Let's grab the 11 now and go back to the top. And this is what vlogging on the 11 in Hyperview looks like. Ooh. And here we are in Hyperview. Let's see how this compares. That spot always gets me a little bit. Little pedally through here. Hopefully no birds this time, but we're good. Oh, almost hit a bird again. So fun. <sighs> okay. I could do that lap a hundred times. That is such a blast. Okay, let's review the footage now. Okay, those were my laps, and I'm already very familiar with the max footage. So I really want to take a good review of this. I looked at it on my phone. I took a good look at the lap and here's my initial thoughts. I do think this is an incredible camera. I think Hyperview is super sick. I think the angle is aligned with the max in terms of how good it actually is. It does not shoot quite as tall still, even after you crop the max footage in to match your frame. So you have a little more room you have to really make sure you have the camera in the perfect spot on your chest mount to not get too much bike and not enough of what's in front of you. So I'm still fine tuning that, but this is really good. Also the color, the smoothness of the footage, I think this beats the Max actually. I didn't think I would say that. I've been so hooked on the Max forever. One thing that I think the Max still wins with is overall it has a smoother look to the stabilization and it doesn't feel like quite as rough of a ride but this is like really, really good. And I'm really stoked to use this in more situations, keep playing with it more. And I'm really loving the look of it. I feel like the footage almost looks faster with Hyperview. And that is pretty cool because if you can look faster, <laughs> that is always a win. And that is my initial comparison between these two cameras. If I had to choose a winner, I think I would actually go with the GoPro Hero 11 Black for POV chest mount footage. And I would go with the Max for everything else. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback and thank you so much for watching. See you later, everyone.